Hello everyone, Bad Guys here and welcome back to another video. How's it going? Everything okay? Good to have a good great day every day with a smiling face, so smile a bit and keep continuing. In this video we are going to see 26 tips and tricks of DJI Osmo Action. For using front screen and switch it to the front screen, we could do a few couple things. First, an easy way is double tap on the screen by two fingers. Double tap again to switch it back. Second, long press on quick selection. And press that again to switch it back on big screen. Third and last one is to say screen switch. Screen switch. In front of screen, as you see, we have 16 by 9 crop screen. For changing it into full screen, slide down the menu and click on this one. Now we have full screen which helps you to see much better. In gallery by sweeping up and down on a video, in right side we can control the volume level. Even though we can control the brightness of the video or photos by sweeping up and down in left side. In addition, we can control the brightness of the screen on top menu in here. In gallery again, down on left side, we can select or like video or photos to find them so quickly. By clicking on the icon top left, you can see all your videos, photos, time lapse, and etc. But remember, they all are mixed. Now, if you click on top middle, on all icon, you can see how many video or photos you've captured. Here we have 22 videos, 43 photos, 6 liked one, with no slow motion and 32 time lapse. So if you're looking for time lapse, click on that and there we go. If you are in a different situation like in a restaurant or cinema that you don't want to hear the beep sound while taking photo or recording, just go to the setting, select sounds and select off. And here we have high, medium, low and off sound as you see. What about LED light? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Go to the setting, LED is almost downside of the menu. Select LED and here you can choose all on all off or front LED off only. There we go, front LED off, top is on. Cameras charger and memory card play store can be removed so easily, just like that. Now, by adding cameras frame, we can charge the camera while the camera is mounted in a car, on a tripod or even handheld. -ing. Next one is a snapshot. When your camera is off, by pressing the shutter button, the camera automatically turn on and it is start doing the option that you selected on a camera's snapshot. Or if you didn't select anything, it will be the last setting. So for setting a snapshot, just go to the setting, here's the snapshot. Select the one that you use it a lot. Video, photo, slow motion, time lapse, hyperlapse, and more. This C1 with yellow sign here is my favorite one that I customized. I will tell you how to do that. So let's select the photo and turn it off. Now by pressing the shutter button, camera will turn on and start taking photo. This button, which it is a quick selection, allows us to select at different modes. But we can customize what mode to be in there. You know, if you're not using the HDR mode or slow motion or time lapse, you can remove it from here and create your own custom profile. So what is the custom profile and how we can create it? You can be able to save a lot of the setting that you're using on a photo or video mode or any others. So if you shoot like me on 4K in 30 frames per second with rocket steady on and having the warp off with MP4 format, you should be able to save them and use them so quickly. So what we have to do is go to the setting menu, go to the profile on top left, now we can save them on C3. Now we need to add that to the quick selection. Go to the setting, press the quick switch, and here we can add our personal customized C3. 
If you don't use the others like this one, HDR video, slow motion, you can remove the check mark. Now every time we want to access and shoot on our favorite setting, all we have to do, just press a quick selection and bingo. By the way, did you know the touch screen doesn't work when the screen is wet? Really? Yeah, 100% sure. You're kidding. Nope, not at all. Let me check that. Okay. Hmm. And one more. What? Is the camera editing on his own? <laughs> Not that much, but we can use those more action without the battery. Just power the camera with USB-C port and record until your memory card get totally full. If while recording the camera's screen turning off annoying you, especially the front screen, you know, while vlogging. Just go to the setting, select the Rick screen off, and select the one you like it, like never. Now it won't annoy you anymore. In other hand, if you want to turn the screen off for a while for saving the battery's power, you know, like while recording time lapse or video, just quickly press the power button. Don't worry, the screen is off and it's still recording. Press again to turn it on. This is a very quick way to save the power. If we go to the menu again, on top of the record screen off, we have the same setting for screen auto sleep. One minute's always annoying me and I prefer to put it on three minutes or five minutes. When I'm done, I press the power button once quickly and it will be on standby to save the power. If you don't like that big fish eye view, which it gives you super wide view, well, sometimes I use it and sometimes not. It depends on situation. Just sweep to the left side, click on the camera button, Click on the warp and turn it off. Grid line is one of the useful things too. Go to the setting, here is the grid line and turn it on. Now we have the grid line in the screen. It helps you to find the right angle or position while filming or taking photos. If you're shooting in a portrait mode, you can turn your camera into a portrait mode or even upside down. And if you don't like it, you can go to the menu setting on top and turn the rotation up. And finally, there's a voice control here on menu for some situation that you can't press the shutter button. So let's turn it on and test it out. Take a photo. Start recording. Stop recording. Shut down. I think we should do something with Osmo action. But what will it be? Well, let's find out in next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel to see more videos. And like always, have a great shooty day. Oh. Shalom. Shalom. In this video, we are going to see 20 sips tip. 20 sips tick tick. 20 sips ticks. 26 tips and tricks. <laughs>